The purpose here is to recreate the solid model of the object shown. We will erase the solid and then redraw it. So the first thing I'll do is to erase the, so the small viewport containing the solid. The next step will be to double click inside the large viewport and gain access to model space. You will notice that in the front view there are two circles with cutout in each one. I'm going to copy those two circles with the cutout and move them to the upper right corner of the viewport. Having done that, I will uh, use the polyline edit command in order to make the line a continuous polyline in both the upper view and in the bottom view. That polyline edit command converts the, the lines into one continuous polyline. You can tell that I had succeeded because when I hover over uh, each of the views, you can see that they become highlighted. So they are indeed a single continuous line. Next, we will move into the southeast isometric view by uh, clicking the button on the view toolbar. Now we will extrude both of these to a distance of 0.62 inches. And now we have to move the small solid on top of the large solid. We'll have to use AutoCAD's object snap center command to accomplish this. We'll grab the smaller object on the bottom, the center point, and move it on top to the center point of the larger object. The next thing we'll do is add the two solids together using AutoCAD's union command. And the result is a wireframe model of the object. This is a good time to add some shading to the object using AutoCAD's visual style toolbar and using pressing the conceptual button. The solid looks good but we're going to want to rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise. To accomplish this we'll use AutoCAD's 3D rotate command which is found on the modeling toolbar. You can see on the screen there are three ribbons which represent the various axes. You have a red ribbon, a green ribbon, and a blue ribbon. Our task will be to select the red ribbon. It will then change color to yellow and then I'll type 90 degrees so as to rotate the solid 90 degrees in a counterclock manner. The model looks good enough, so now we'll move into the southeast isometric view. Then we'll move into the top view. And we'll zoom and pan until only the 2D drawing is visible, and hopefully the solid will be hidden. Now we'll double click again outside the viewport to get back into paper space. Using the mView uh, command, uh, we're going to create another viewport which will contain the solid. We'll double click inside the smaller viewport and then zoom to the southeast, move to the southeast isometric view. Now we'll pan and zoom so that we get a better view of the solid. And again, we'll double click outside the viewport so as to get back into paper space. At this point, you might have to use the Match Properties button found on the standard toolbar to make sure that both viewports are on the same layer. They should be on the layer called Vports. And so finally, we'll open the dialog box for the layer and freeze the layer called Vports. When we do that, 
you will notice that the viewport outlines have disappeared but the drawings remain. That completes this drawing. This is the end of the tutorial. However, another clip will now be added so that you might become aware of other videos which I am producing. For more information regarding the videos on this clip, please check out YouTube or contact me via email. And don't forget to practice making solid models. It's fun. Thank you for watching.